Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I'm Anthony, watching Josh play Chasm <laughs> from BitKid Incorporated. BitKid? Holy shit. Yeah. I don't think I actually knew that until this moment. Oh yeah? <laughs> you teach me so much. That's, uh, that's the power of Steam. They tell you everything. Oh shit, what's this? I, it looks like, do you see that down below? It looks like I'm gonna be able to go there at some point. Can you like, I don't know how, but... Oh, you probably... Yeah, I, eh. Well, it's like we noticed, uh, was it last episode where there's a slide area? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you gotta earn some moves. I I agree. I agree. We're gonna go to the right. Hey, hey, hey. Club that hey. dude. I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to. Yeah. yeah, it's just doing its own thing, and it's like, yeah, fuck him up. Yeah. Ooh. So I know, it's just like a Metroid. Hello. This is different. Ooh. This is definitely, you're definitely gonna earn an ability. Oh. Ah. It's a healing I station. saved Anthony. Yeah. Oh, I like and it. I can't go anywhere else, right? Oh, do you see, uh, you see near the, the upper right where Karthus is, uh, we're to <laughs> leave to Karthus, there's a little area, so we're gonna go back over yonder, and that's gonna, is that gonna take us to the next area, I believe. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so, last episode, we talked about how we were gonna talk a little bit more about the game, and then we are gonna bring up the Steam page, and we just totally forgot about it. But, uh, here we are now to tell you a little bit more on episode three of yeah. Chasm. Uh, explore the depths below a remote mountain town in this procedurally generated adventure platformer. Procedurally generated? Taking inspiration from hack and slash dungeon crawlers and Metroidvania style platformers, Chasm will immerse you in a fantasy world full of exciting treasure, deadly enemies, and abundant secrets. I see. So would you say, based on that description, would you anticipate this to be like like a Diablo game, but side-scroller. You know what I mean? Like, you run into dungeons, you beat some shit up, you expect to get cool loot. Yeah. Fight some baddies. I haven't seen... I mean, uh, yes. I haven't seen that so much in terms of, like, the Diablo... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the Diablo, oh. like, uh, you know, inventory madness. Ow. Uh, and, like, upgrade path madness for your stuff. Inventory madness, I like that. You know what I mean? Where it's that's a good way to describe Diablo, yeah. Yeah, right, which is great, and that's the whole point of that game. Um... Because I think I think we're gonna get that with this. I'm not sure, um, but you know we'll see. I agree. Look at all these fucking areas I can't get to yet because I don't have certain not items. Have you to skill up, bro? I know. I, hopefully, I'll get a double jump soon. So let's see. Where are we? Got to go a little bit up and to the right. Okay. Sorry. Please continue. Uh, that's all I had. Uh, Bitkid Inc. came out July 31st, 2018. Getting pretty good reviews. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. It's kind of cool. And you said uh, these, this was a Kickstarter? I had no idea. It was, yeah. It was a Kickstarter game from a while back. I mean, I'm not going to say it was like one of the original Kickstarters, but I feel, my memory tells me that it came around 2013, I want to say. Wow. All right. Ah, look, there's our friend. See? The, yeah. Uh, How did he beat us? <laughs> no. Just stand there for one moment while I lock the gate in place. Okay. Uh, is, is he going to kill us? Yes, yeah, he going to. Ah, that okay. That should do it. Thanks, man. Now follow me. All right. Wait, wait. No. Hey, come back. Come back. Come Hurry back. up. Okay. Let's get to him. Let's get to him. Let's get to him. How? Oh, see? Did he, how fast uh, he is. Did he just, like, he marathon sprint past all of this stuff? And just, and like, like, yep. I feel like he knows all the locals, so they're like, they let him go, like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? And he's just like, <laughs> yeah. You're cool. yeah, they're all cool with it. Your like, friend's a dick, though. And he's like, stop that guy behind me. Yeah, jump him in. <laughs> <laughs> East LA style bitches. <laughs> like, what? Jeez. As he just, like, Legolas prances over them, just, like, light yeah. as a feather, just bounces <laughs> off them. No question. I did love that. You mean how Legolas in uh, both the movie and the book, obviously, was so light on his feet that he didn't crumple snow? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, exactly. God. He's magic. And sexy. And beautiful. As we all know. Yeah. Man, Orlando Bloom's never looked better since, I would say. Yeah. Ever since... Uh... <laughs> Absolutely not. I totally agree. Stay blonde, Orlando, because everything else you're sucking at, bro. Yeah, stop with your half beard bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Like, stop... You're not Keanu Reeves, right. you can't pull it off. Right. Uh, you know who looks good dirtied up? Aragorn. You know who doesn't look good dirtied up? You. Go back to blonde, shave that shit off your face, and put on the ears. Oh, and then God. call me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, can Josh. I not make it? Huh? Nope, I can't reach it. Wait, so you gotta like, do you have to earn cliff hanging too? Yeah, I'm wondering if I have to earn like crawl, like yeah, like pull up, pull yourself up from a cliff or like a double jump. I feel like these games always have like a like double jump. It's like the EVE Online of Metroidvania style dungeon crawlers where it's like, you have to learn in real time all of your moves. Oh, that's right, because in EVE Online, you like buy skills, right? And then you study it? Well, yeah, so in EVE, there's no such thing as classes or or professions or anything. Oh, there's professions, but there's no such thing. It's not like, I choose to be a dark elf necromancer, nothing like that. It's all skills. Anybody, everyone starts out the same and everyone can learn whatever they want, but skills are trained 
only in real time. So if you want to learn like how to pilot a certain class of ship, then that might take you 18 days. Literally now, 18 days. Like of playing the game? Cor just in, in real clock time. So you can log out, but, and you, your character will continue to learn, but it will take it 18 real days to learn that skill in this example. Okay, okay. So at least from the moment you start it, you know, you can set the clock, the calendar, you can send yourself a reminder, like in 18 days, this will be done. But it's not like you have to sit there and do anything besides let it do its thing. Right. I mean, you know, but again, then correct. And then, you know, then you're, you're like, well, I should play. I'm wasting my money here. But yeah. Oh, right. Because it's a subscription based MMO. Well, now. Yeah, it is. So, But now they recently changed it. They, ooh, I feel protected. They made it free. Um, but you can't, you can only learn up to a certain point. Um, I see. So yeah, if you want to go uh, further, you have to pay a monthly subscription, I believe. EVE it's Online is crazy as one of the early MMOs that managed to survive, like, yeah, right? for so long. Cause, and have a subscription model, which I feel like is becoming less and less common. For a I agree, yeah. and it has, it's been less and less common for a long time now, I think. Um, just free to play is dominating so much stuff, which is unfortunate in my opinion. But ooh, yeah, I totally. Oh, what do you think this is gonna do? Pull it. Who cares? Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's see. All the way up there. Cool. All right, well, it I'll... opened a door to another lever. Perfect. Well, that, that guy's got a bomb too, so I'd be careful. You don't get to tell me what to do. Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ow! Josh, it's gonna be okay. I thought for sure for some reason because I have this like protection thing on me. I was like, oh yeah, this won't hurt as much. Nope, can't get up further from that way. But uh, it turns out the uh, the poison gas hurts you every bit as much. So that's good to know. Ow. Poison gas show does take a bite. Ow. <laughs> it's giving me the vapors. Shout. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, so the, uh, the, uh, get it. I need. Do I have an apple left? Get it. I want to. Uh, yep. I do have an apple. All right, I'm gonna eat the apple, mm. and now I'm gonna eat the topaz. Damn it. Topaz. Ooh, you know what that looks like? Um, what does it look like? Mm, that looks like a. Uh, uh, what are those candies? Um, Werther's Originals. Uh, it does look like a Werther's. That's actually much better. I was thinking of Toffee Fay. But that toffee face, toffee face, good too. If not the best, that is really good. It's too fancy though. It's like you're you have to be regal to eat toffee face. You know that's kind of how like um what are those fucking little language uh the, <laughs> those little um <laughs> what are those like truffle things? They're like do you know what I'm talking about? They're like dome shaped bocce's. What are they called? Bocce's? No. That's from Perugina Chocolate. Those are hazelnuts. You're thinking of Ferrero Rocher? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those. Those are bocce wannabes. Oh. <laughs> oh. But they're really good. But yeah, they look fancy. It's like there's score bars, and then there's that other bullshit, uh, you know? Heath? Exactly. What's wrong with Heath? Excuse me, sir. He, and by the way, <laughs> I will not deny either, but I'm just saying. Score is to Heath as bocce is to Ferrero Rocher. Do you think... In a blind taste test, you could tell the difference. Absolutely. fucking lutely Really? Uh, between a Heath and a score bar? Yeah. Yeah, and here's how I tell. I'm ready. Because every time you bite into a score bar and then try and open your mouth from that first bite, <laughs> you're locked into place because- You've yanked out a bunch of fillings and shit. Yeah, exactly, because for whatever whatever recipe they got in score for their caramel, it's like made to like fuse enamel together. God, that's one of those things like, so I have a couple of fillings, right? And when I eat stuff, I also don't really like like hard candy. I just chew on because I I didn't grow up right. Yeah, yeah, me too. And uh, I, I always worry right. that. <laughs> well, I don't have any other explanations. Just how it is. Yeah, just the way life goes. But um, I'm always just a little worried that I am gonna straight up just extract, like with surgical precision, just extract that filling. Yes. Right. Like when you open your jaw, like it's like the fillings just stay in place as your teeth perfectly come off of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Did I ever tell you? So one of my front teeth has a filling, and I also didn't know that they could do that, but did I tell you how I chipped my front tooth on something once? Were you in a, were you in a fight protecting somebody, or what? Yeah, it was just like that. I chipped my tooth <laughs> on pizza. Pizza? Because I was eating it with a fork, and I bit down on the fork. <laughs> so you're... <laughs> Which is just irony. Was it one of those gourmet pizzas, or was it like a... Yeah, it was from a round table pizza. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Look, Anthony, you'll understand this part. Here's my last defense. Right. I was eating it while at the computer, so I didn't want my hands to get gross. Okay. You <laughs> All right. 
Fine. Fine. <laughs> I will say this. Uh, that's where I just fat boy through that, and I just grab the crust where it's dry, and just I eat it without putting it down. Yeah. Oh. Like I. That's a good I idea. I just like, eat it like in like three bites, like and like breathe. You know, like when you eat too fast, you have to breathe through your food. <laughs> like <laughs> that's the only way my brother and I ate growing up. My when, sister hated it. But thank the watchers. <laughs> I'm when I work in these mines, searching for ore and minerals. I'm so glad the military is here to finally get things back to normal. You're Wait, the military. You're Lol. the only one. Well, you have true grit, that's for sure. I doesn't know that. I'm gonna head back to the tavern. I need to get my mind off of all this <laughs> I need with to a get few fucking games. Trash. <laughs> Well, you got this one under control, kid. I'm gonna go get ripped. Yeah. I got things to do. I haven't drank in like three hours, so this is getting fucked. Yeah. Watch out for those alligators wearing fucking track suits. Uh, yeah. They'll stab you. Yeah. Wearing like a belly shirt and some like yeah. weird 80s track track shorts. <laughs> With unnecessarily large cod pieces. Yeah. No one's buying it. And they're really, they're really tiny and lively. Just watch out for them. They are. Look how tiny they are. Their proportions are weird. Good lord. Lord. All right, so we're going to keep going. I bet we... So here's the thing I'm curious about, Anthony. I don't know if you die if the game is over and you have to, like, start at a save point. Well, let's not find I out. I don't want to find out either, but I know at some point we have to go back to town, and I'm just hoping there's, like, a town portal or something, because I really don't want to climb my way back up there. This is... You know, I'm already on level two. That's just too no, much. No, and this is what the audience may not know, and I feel I'm getting this vibe off you. Uh, you're legitimately considering offing yourself just so you can insta-transport back to town to save yourself the trip, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, dude. Because, well, didn't you ever read a... I didn't read this either, but... But River World, I think it's called. Great talk. I already assumed. <laughs> Didn't you ever read this thing? I've never read, but I heard it's good. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's this there's this there's this uh, sci-fi book series called River World. I think it's River World, Ring World, something like that. Uh, yeah. Where uh, people, when they die, they get resurrected somewhere else in the world, and so if they want to get somewhere quick. They just keep offing themselves till they can get there, and they call it the Suicide Express. So, good lord! And they just and, they, and it's random. I believe so. That's my understanding of when someone told me about this book about 15 years ago. I'll say this: based on my computer science training, uh, that is a <laughs> very dangerous gamble to play with yourself. Holy shit! True randomization. Uh, uh, uh God. yeah, true randomization could make it really hard, right? Yeah, uh, dude. Dude, check this shit out. Oh. Josh, should we well, hold on? Yeah, yeah. Should we explore this part later? Because look at what you're about to enter hey, into. Yeah, you mean what we're gonna say friend and then <laughs> enter into? <laughs> Belosh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time. <laughs> later.